Hello, welcome to episode 5 of my uh, MBTI themed mini-series called Positive ID in which I uh, relay some sort of anecdote or observation that's based on nearly 20 years of uh, being just ridiculously infatuated with the Myers-Briggs temperament indicator and uh, being a real hobbyist um, typist, I guess we could say. Um, yeah, just sharing of, of things that I've seen over and over again to the point where I feel like they, they are very likely indicative of something. Not necessarily, but just things that make me go, hmm, you know. So this uh, anecdote for the episode comes from a dear INFP friend who is the youngest in her family. Her family is, uh, I think we could safely say that they are somewhere in the, uh, you know, they're, they're somewhere in the, what would be called the power elite of the United States of America. And um, what they did recently was have just a wonderful family reunion uh, in which all of them drove for miles and miles and got together and, and lots of hugs and kisses and, and good feeling. And they spent a whole Saturday uh, shopping for their uh, grave plots and purchasing them and doing all the paperwork and um, getting that all settled. And then to celebrate the, the, you know, the enormous excitement and satisfaction they all felt from having uh, accomplished that and gotten that out of the way so that, you know, they'll, they know that it's settled 50 years in advance where their, uh, their final resting places will be. Um, with that load off their minds, they uh, decided to celebrate by going out to uh, a great steakhouse and enjoying a, a very convivial family dinner. Now, if you can uh, relate to anything at all in that story whatsoever, uh, other than having a delicious meal with uh, a family that you like, then I have to say, uh, I don't think I'm going out on a limb here in saying that you absolutely must be an SJ of some kind. It's just a matter of which one. So that's all I have to say on this one, and uh, thank you for joining me.